Hey guys, and in today's video, let's take a look at GoPro Max. So as you guys know, GoPro Max has actually two lenses on the body and these are quite exposed during all sorts of scratches and hits during everyday activities. In fact, it's quite important to wear the Max protective lens simply to protect your camera, especially during the high-risk activities when you may end up damaging your lens. Because if you end up scratching one of these lenses, you are pretty much done and you have to replace the whole camera. And if you don't have a GoPro Plus subscription, you are pretty much on your own and it's really hard to replace it. However, these protective bubbles introduce a new layer of glass just in front of your lens. So in this video, we're gonna take a closer look at GoPro Max protective lenses and see if they're gonna affect the overall image quality. So first, let's take a closer look how it's gonna look like with a protective lens while driving towards the sun with completely clear sky. This clip was recorded as a 360 degrees video. So as you just seen, the sun flare or the smudges from my fingers are clearly noticeable, especially when you point the lens toward the bright sunny sky. And believe me, I feel like no matter how much you clean it and how much you take care of it, it will never be clean enough to completely get rid of it. So when you mount a protective lens on your GoPro Max, it will affect the image quality. And now, as a small comparison, let's take a look how it's gonna look like driving towards the sun without the protective lenses. So as you just seen, the sun flare or the smudges were completely gone and even though I was driving towards the sun with bright sunny sky, the image didn't look as bad as it used to be before. And now, take a quick look at the side by side comparison. Alright, so this was an example how it looks like in a 360 degree video. But GoPro Max can also record as a regular standard GoPro. So for now, let's take a look how it's gonna look like in hero mode. Alright guys, so as you see I'm facing directly towards the sun and the way I'm going to approach this shot is that uh, I'm going to turn GoPro Max this time into hero mode and we're gonna see if the um, protective lens gonna affect uh, the video quality. Alright, so let's do this. I'm just gonna move a little bit from right to left just so you guys have the basic idea how it looks like so the sun is directly facing uh, where the Buddha statue is and I'm just gonna move a little bit more so you have some basic understanding how the lens um, how the protective lens affect the video quality I'm gonna focus on the sun right now move it a little bit more just so I have some examples. Alright, and now let's see how it's gonna look like without this lens protector. Alright, so as you guys see, I just removed the protective lens from the GoPro Max and uh, what I'm going to do is basically the same thing. Uh, I'm just gonna uh, try to repeat what I just recorded before. So I'm going to move the camera in the same manner just as I did before. So I'm going to move from right to left, from left to right, <clears throat> focusing on the sun a little bit. Once again, I'm using the GoPro Max in hero mode without the protective lens. And right now I'm going to focus on the sun itself. Let's see how the sun affects uh, the lens flare. If there is going to be anything like that. Alright, so I just used GoPro Max with and without the protective lens uh, in hero mode. So now let's take a quick look if there's any visible difference between the two.
Alright, so as you just seen, max protective lens affect the video quality. And this is especially noticeable in bright sunny days when you point your camera lens towards the sun. And this can be noticeable in both 360 degrees video and hero mode. So in the end, if you are going to use a GoPro Max protective lens, it's gonna affect the quality of your video, but this is a really small price to pay if you want to protect your camera lenses from scratches or some other impacts during a high-risk activities. On the other hand, if you want to have the best image possible, then it's simply better to get rid of the lens protector. But is it worth it? Honestly guys, I'm going to use the lens protectors because it's simply so easy to scratch the lens with your GoPro Max without it. Alright guys, for today's video that's gonna be that's it. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you learned something from it. And if you did, then as always guys, give me a thumb up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't before, smash the notification button so you don't miss my future content guys, and see you on the next one, bye!